Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you four new um, Valentine's DIY projects using Dollar Tree products. Now there's one product that I am using um, craft sticks that I got from Walmart, but um, Dollar Tree do sell them, but they don't sell them the size that I'm going to be using them in. So um, if you're going to do this project, I would suggest that you go to get those from Walmart. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I want to welcome you all to my channel. Um, I hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And also make sure you like, um, comment, and uh, share. Uh, I would love to have you all stick around. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. For this first DIY, you're going to need... Um, three of the little dice that they sell at Dollar Tree. Now they do, I don't think they have these anymore, but they do sell them in the kid section. And then also you will need uh, about six rolls of this Nautica rope. And you will need uh, the X, two X and two O letters. And then also um, you'll see that I decided to add a heart on the, the third dice that um i had left over from last um halloween I mean, ah, halloween I, here we go um valentine's day is pink so i will be painting it with this crimson red um chalk paint so here you will see me just um wrapping a nautica rope all the way around um until i don't see um the dice anymore and then i will flip it and start going the other way just to give it a different pattern and um i will do this for all three dice and then you'll see what i do next Okay, for the second DOI, you will need one of these signs that they actually have out now at Dollar Tree. And also, these are the crafting sticks that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. You'll need four of those. And then the crimson um, chalk paint as well. And also, um, I picked out the letters to uh, spell out love. Now, I didn't have an E, so I'm using two Fs. And I will glue those um together and you'll see that towards the end and i will be staining the letters um and also staining the picture frame so right here i've taken apart the coffee um because i don't need that for this particular diy and i am outlining the crafting sticks uh the size of the frame and i'm going to cut off the excess parts that i don't need then i will be painting the craft sticks um, with the red chalk paint and I will be staining the wood frame and the letters with the um, coffee um, color stain that I showed you guys.
For this third DIY, you will need some of the um, stumbling um, blocks. Now, I didn't end up using the key, but you will need the rope again and also a planter and a glass um, base from Dollar Tree. And also, this little round top came from a, a canister that I had from Target's Dollar Spot that I got over the springtime. It broke. The bottom part broke, so I kept the lid. I always think about keeping the lids or keeping anything that I feel like I can use in a future project when I craft. So um, now I'm just gluing everything together, and then I'll start... Um, gluing the nautical rope around the bottom face. Now this is actually my take on how um, the gumball machine, now Target has one in their, their um, dollar spot uh, this year or well, this time for Valentine's Day, but it's like hard to come by. A lot of people are buying them up and trying to overprice or oversell them. So I decided to make my own and mine ended up being looking a whole lot better than what the one at Target looked like in my opinion. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut my mouth <laughs> and I'll let you guys see what I'm doing. Okay, so right here I'm actually making it a little circle, like a little hole to where the candy will fall out of the gumball machine, if it was a real life gumball machine, so that's what I'm doing now. So here I have glued together four pieces, or well eight pieces of the um, tumbling um, tower game pieces and I'm going to stain them with the coffee um, stain that I always use. Um, this part I am actually making um, the little turn part of the gumball machine that you always see. So that's actually what I'm making here and then you'll see how that turned out. For this last DIY, you will need two of the chalk um, little boards that they have at Dollar Tree. And also, um, this is new for Dollar Tree, so I got one of those little boxes. And then also the little square wooden pieces. And you will need some wooden dowels, um, the longer ones. And also, um, you'll need some um, paper of your choice. And also the tumbling tower well i ended up not using the tumbling tower and then of course i'm going to paint this um with the red ch chalk paint now this is actually going to end up being a um lantern um this is my take of a valentine's lantern actually so i've already painted um the chalkboard pieces now I did break off the bottom part now you will, I would suggest that you use something sharp that you can get underneath the um, the in between the little board that's glued on to make it stand up because it is glued on pretty good and it will break the wood that you actually need to um, for your base and your top part um, for this project so um, I'm gonna hush and let you guys see what I'm doing Now for the wooden dowels, what I did was I took two of the wooden dowels for each side and I glued them together and I was using um, wood glue but that was not working out well for me. So I ended up using um, hot glue 
um, and that's what I use to connect it as well and then you see that I have added some of the um, not a rope as well because I did not like how the wood glue how the um, hot glue was looking on the wooden dolls so I added just on the outside um, the uh, nautical rope and now I'm going to attach the top part to give it some dimension and that was just uh, the little wooden uh, cubes that I showed you guys I just did um, three row wait so with three six seven. so I did eight two sec two um, levels of eight without a cube in the center it almost looked like a cubic um cube without a center in it so that's all i did with that and now i'm just gonna glue in on the the top part the little wooden box that i showed you guys and then the other part will go on top of that and then i will cut off a little piece of nautica rope to make kind of like a loop and that will be it and you can put whatever you want to put in there and I might end up using this for Christmas next year. As you can see that some of the red came off. So I will touch that up. Um, but yeah, I love how this turned out. I actually like the little shabby ends on the, the foot of the um, lantern. Um, it's giving me kind of boho vibes. And um, rustic farmhouse at the same time. If that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed these easy DIYs and um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and, and join my YouTube family and leave me a comment. Let me know which one of these was your favorite um, DIY and I will chat with you all in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.